Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you guys had a good Wednesday. Today's Thursday and it's almost the weekend. I can't wait. The weekend's going to be fun times. Uh, I'll probably see if I can live stream on Friday night, Saturday sometime, hopefully. I was actually looking at buying All Pro Football 2K8. It looks like a pretty good game. And it's like $2 at GameStop and I got Power Up Rewards cards so it's going to be like $1.70. And no GameStop around me has it except it's like two hours away and I'm not going to drive two hours to get the game. I'll just order it probably on the website. But yeah, I'm going to look at getting All Pro Football 2K8. It looks like a pretty good game. So yeah. The Witness got a release date. Uh, it's going to be January 26th, 2016. And to be honest with you guys, I've never heard of this game. I don't know if they've talked about it before. Apparently they have. Apparently they've talked about the game. I've never heard of it, but I watched the little uh, trailer thing that they got going on for it. And it looks basically like a puzzle solving kind of type of game. It's like an island. Looks pretty cool to play. 80 to 100 hours of play time on the game. Cool. More than enough time, I think. If it's Especially if it's like $15. You really can't go wrong. It's 80 to 100 hours for 15 20 bucks so yeah this game looks pretty cool I'll check it out when it gets closer to release and just see how much they charge and I might pick this one up it looks like a fun game alright so moving on Xbox One experience tester version issues outline they said basically you know alerting them the number of games features and functionalities may not work well during upcoming preview period or test period whatever you guys want to call it Destiny and Borderlands a handsome collection um, I feel the launch during the first wave uh, like to Forza 6 and Assassin's Creed have graphical issues and errors and all that good stuff. Um, basically, it, 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 it probably won't happen. They just have to say it just in case it does so people don't freak out and say, wow, this update sucks. And then there's going to be new apps on there such as ABC News, Sling TV, and WWE. They may fill the launch on there. And that's just a small slice of known issues that Xbox has put out. Then they also say how you can go about it. If you're like basically a member of the preview program, you can go ahead and just activate your whatever download it all right so last piece of news the future of uh, gaming from Sony sounds like it's gonna cost you a lot of money especially with the VR headset that's pretty much the whole main the meat and potatoes of this of this whole article they said the headset will apparently cost as much as a new gaming platform that's not confirmed that's probably a ballpark estimate so realistically would you guys want to pay three to four hundred dollars for a VR headset the answer is probably no right so Sony is gonna screw themselves on this. I I feel like a good price point would be two to two to two hundred fifty dollars for this headset. I why would I pay three to four hundred dollars when I can upgrade my PC for that? I can get a new motherboard, probably a new power supply. Bought a new graphics card already. Pretty much I could buy everything and be under the price of a VR headset. And the only way VR is gonna take off is if they put it in that good price point from the get go. If they start off at $400, that's going to scare people away. They're going to be like, why would I spend as much as on a headset, an accessory, mind you, then I could go out and buy an Xbox One. You know what I'm saying? Or I can upgrade my PC or I can buy a 4K TV. So the point is Sony's got to come down on their price. If they think they're going to sell it for the price of the PS4, it's not going to happen. It, they're going to wonder why it failed. And they would have wasted all this money and time developing this. And I, I think you have to use the move controllers. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen, Sony. M using the move controllers? Are you kidding? Is that a joke? I want to be able just to do this in front of the camera. Kind of like a Kinect. We don't need, oh, I got the move controller. No, you don't need that. You don't need that. that that's stupid. I, I, you're, it's like they're behind in this hardware thing because the HoloLens looks a hell of a lot better than this. I'll tell you guys that much. It, it's going to cost a lot more than the VR headset but it's a lot more functional than this. All this is, you put it on, you're in, you, you just look around, you're in the game, whoop de doo With the HoloLens, you can put it on your actual wall, or you can play Minecraft on your computer desk or something. <sighs> Sony's gotta come down in price with that. They're, they're, that's astronomical for that price. They, they can't charge that much and expect it to sell well. It's not gonna sell well at all, I don't think. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. That'd be awesome. I want to hear your guys' opinions on this. If you guys think Sony's actually going to make a profit off this, or if, if you think that's a good price point, the cost of a PS4 or gaming platform. Or if you guys think that, I don't know, they're, they're not going to sell many at all. Or do you guys think they should come down in price? All right, that's all the news I want to talk about today. Make sure to like this video, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.